Hi there, and welcome back to my second video in my beginner's guide series that I have recently started. Today we're going to go over some more things that you should probably know before you take your first flight. First and foremost, you can see that this plane is a very attractive color of navy blue with uh, some markings and such on it. What you want to do is you want to, whenever possible, throw some camouflage on there because it does provide a little bit of additional concealment. To do that, you just click on the paint shop button, and then you can just click on the one that says concealment plus 10%. You can add any camouflage you want in this category, however, these camouflages that are not in this first box here are not going to give you any additional hiding from the enemy abilities. So, you usually want to toss this one on up here. At the bottom, you can purchase this for 7 days, for 30 days, or permanently. I do not recommend purchasing it permanently unless it's a premium aircraft or plane you plan to keep forever, because that is gold, and gold is uh, kind of hard to come by. So, I usually put mine on for 30 days, unless it's a premium. That said, you just click on this one, you move on to the next box, there you go, and you just click through and click the first box. Uh, sometimes it might be a camouflage you may not be overly fond of, and you want to throw on, say, you like this uh, pre-war skin that they've got here for you, so you just click on that one, and it doesn't cost you an additional 44000 to put this one in because you've already paid for it once. So you only pay for a camouflage once. If I only use this camouflage on every single version of the aircraft flight condition, then I only pay 44000 so there's that, that's nice. Then down here at the bottom we've got Noah's Art, which you can toss on here. Uh, the Noah's Art is an additional cost, does have the additional 730 and Forever, and you will have to also make sure that you click the 730 or Forever down here, independently of the camouflages, because it's a new category. And you can put any one of these on there you'd like, and it doesn't really provide anything except for making your plane look cooler, so that's just uh, something you can throw on down there. And then you've also got emblems. Now, every different plane, the emblems go on someplace different. Sometimes they go on the fuselage right here. Sometimes they go on the engine cowlings. Uh, sometimes they've shown up on the back of the airplane or right in the middle of it. Uh, in the case of, say, the XF5U pancake. So you usually want to check and see where it's going to end up at. Uh, and if you don't like where it ends up, then you don't have to put it on. And to remove it, you just click the X button there. Done, done. Uh, once you're finished changing the camo, you just click the apply button and everything goes right on there. The other thing, and this is really, really important, you want to make sure that you put consumables and change your ammunition type. I typically run pneumatic restarter, control surface, trim, and first aid dressing package on all my aircraft just because I find these are the three things that I need the most. Uh, sometimes I run a fire extinguisher instead of a first aid package because I'm in a plane that catches on fire a lot. <clears throat> I'm looking at you, A6M. And sometimes I might run something else instead of one of these two, but generally speaking, I do not. So you want to make sure that you've got some equipment, some consumables on there. Uh, I always check resupply automatically because you want those to be there. You don't want to accidentally go into a flight and try and hit your first aid package because your pilot was shot and you can't do anything. That's no bueno. So that's that. Uh, the ammo type is extremely important. So when you first get an airplane, what you're going to do is you're going to start with standard ammo. The standard ammo is okay. It's not great, it's not completely atrocious, but it doesn't provide you any additional anything. So what you want to do is run Universal on all your planes. Don't worry about the expense of running Universal because you do make pretty decent credits in this game. The economy is pretty well set off, so you, you, I always run Universal. Now in this game, much like uh, any other wargaming titles that you might have played, like World of Warships, or excuse me, not World of Warships, like World of Tanks, they do have premium ammo. The premium ammo does cost gold, it does not have a credit purchase cost, um, and the premium ammo increases your chance of fire, it increases your chance of critical damage, or it will increase the damage that you do to certain conditions. This one has armor piercing incendiary, which gives you a higher fire chance, and it also does additional armored ground target damage. So if you're going after bunkers and things on the ground, then it will do some more damage to those. I don't run anything of, the, of, of these just because I don't feel the need to. I run Universal in pretty much all of my planes, unless I'm feeling cheeky sometimes. I might toss uh, might toss some gold ammo in there if I've got some extra lying around. Uh, usually when you purchase a premium plane, they'll give you a couple belts of premium ammo to throw in there. You can see I've got 10 belts of HEI and HE available for this plane, uh, and each different weapon type has you know additional. But I don't I don't run I don't run premium. I don't think it's necessary. So there you go. There's a couple more tips for you if you're just starting off. Make sure that you toss on some camo if you want to make your plane look good. Uh, make sure that it's the camo that is appropriate for the weather condition you'll be flying in if you want the additional 10% concealment. Make sure that you switch your weapon 
ammo loadout to universal and also make sure that you throw on some consumables that's it for me this time remember if you're ever thinking of taking your own life spare a minute you can do it talk to somebody talk to anybody just spare a minute i will see you guys next time lambo 805 out